Hey guys, Mix here, and in today's video, we are back continuing on our newest build of swapping in this engine out of a 1980 Honda CB750C, and we're going to be swapping it into this half-scale NASCAR. So on last video, we began fabbing up everything in order to make this engine fit in here. So I cut all of the uh, piping and everything and added on uh, this one side along with adjusted the axle and everything like that. And for my first time ever fabbing up everything, I'm really impressed because this is insanely strong. So I'm super proud of myself with that. We had to come to a halt on that uh, because I ran out of tubing, but luckily um, the new tubing came into the mail today and it is super, super nice. The supports, I'm just using uh, this tubing, which I think is strong enough. So what I would really, really like to accomplish today is getting the engine in here and just resting on it just to make sure that it will fit and then once we're done with that I need to figure out the whole sprocket situation. So we're not going to be using this sprocket because it's too small and it was meant for that engine, which is all tucked away back there. It's like normal go-kart, like mini bike chain, which will not be able to handle the power of this. It would just snap probably on impact, but it's gonna be the same design. I'm gonna try and find a split sprocket for it and it's gonna go in the same area. So we can use that as somewhat as a template to figure out our whole sprocket system. So guys, let's hop straight into working. What I need to go ahead and do right now is just pop off this fuel cell because there is a diagonal tube right in there. You guys probably can't see it, but it's the same on that side. So I need to be able to mount the diagonal engine mount to that tube. So got to move this out of the way. I might need to move the brakes over as well because I need to ensure that the piping is wide enough to clear the oil pan on the bottom of the engine. So let's hop straight into working right now. I might need to weld outside today because it is honestly so hot in here and it is hot outside but I really really don't want to be breathing in all of this smoke and everything so I might just do that outside and then come in and out from outside when I need to cut it and put it into this so let's get started So basically the two uh, areas that you guys just saw me mark are the uh, the measurements from this pipe to this pipe because they were two separate pipes if you guys saw in last video. That's where I welded them right there. And I'm going to just try my best to mimic this side as equally as it can mimic uh, this side. So I need to make sure that they're as equal as possible to ensure that they're nice and parallel on each side so nothing's going all crooked and the edge won't be all sideways and everything like that. The next day. Oh, right, guys, so we're actually back here the next day, and that is because I was running into an, a bizarre issue yesterday that both of my drills were literally just not working. So, as you guys can see, I got through a good chunk of this right here, and the U is coming out really, really clean, but it just was not going through it anymore, and the drills both kept overheating like crazy. Um, so, I just took a step back because I just kept trying to go through it in the same spot, and nothing was happening for whatever reason and the drill was literally lasting like 45 seconds and then it would just be done but i just let it charge overnight like i usually do and it is fully charged so when i just took a break i i was trying to figure out what was happening and i just realized that what i can do is just flip this around it has a drill bit on this side and it already made the hole through so if i just put it in there and drew it It'll come out as equal as it did on this side. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm not going to bother recording it, but I should be able to get through that in one, two, three. And then we can finally move on. So I just finished up cutting the little slant in it and I also just grinded off some of the metal and you know filed it down and everything So when welding it comes out nice and clean, but I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit It is pretty hot for me, uh, you know grinding it down and everything getting it all clean But once I cool that down I'm going to put it on there make sure the slant is all good to go and make sure that I don't need to uh, Slant it anymore to make sure that this pipe will go nice and straight But then if it's all good to go then I'm going to take that pipe, cut a slant in it that will be adjacent with this one in order to create the flat line. So let's just see how this looks. Alrighty, so it looks pretty good. I think I might just make it a little bit uh, more steep on the cut. But then once I'm done with that, I can begin on the extra piping. So I just uh, actually put both of the pipes together 
and I eyeballed it onto here, sorry if it's hard to hear me, I have a respirator on, but it's probably hard to tell, but I did the slightest little slant in it, and it is perfect. So I'm going to line these two pipes up to where I need it, clear off the table, and then uh, weld everything up. Honestly, might weld outside just because it's really bad to breathe in all the fumes and everything. And this respirator is obviously too big to wear under my welding mask, so... I think I might just take this outside. Alrighty guys, so I just finished up cleaning off the end of that pipe. Um, so I brought it out here just to weld it, just because I really don't want to be breathing in all that fumes and everything in there. And plus the ground is more level and I have more room to really have, it, have these two pipes connected and I might be able to get a cleaner weld. But I'm gonna tack it up first, make sure it's all good. Then if it's not, then I can just break it. If not, then I'm gonna fully weld it and then it'll be time to weld it onto the cart Add it on the supports, and then, and then it will almost be time to put on the engine and see how this holds up. So it's been a couple days since I've welded, but hopefully I can still get down um, some pretty clean welds, or at least if they're strong, then that's all that counts. So let's get started. Alrighty, so we are all tacked up. So now I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this here. All right, that looks pretty straight. Now, obviously. It might not look very even on camera, but that's just because this side is up and this side is just resting on the axle. Like, it's the same procedure I did for this side, but they are parallel with each other. So once I do that support, uh, they will be nice and equal on both sides. So it'll look something like that. Now let's fully weld up this thing. And then once this is on the cart and the supports are in, I haven't really decided whether or not I want to put the engine on first or measure for the engine mounts, put the engine mounts on first, then put on the engine. But I think I might just try and throw on this engine quick and then, because I do want to raise it up with the engine mounts, and I'm either going to use the flat bar that I have right there, <laughs> or reuse the engine mounts that I have. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to be tall enough, because I do want to raise this up a little bit, uh, just to make sure that the oil pan doesn't come in contact with the axle. But once that's on there, we can figure it out then. But in the meantime, let's just finish up welding this pipe. Alrighty, so just finished welding the pipe and once again it is not pretty but it sure is strong so I'm gonna let this cool down for a good bit because it is steamy right now but in the meantime I can go ahead and start creating my uh, support that I made and cutting it to the same length uh, making the little U in it and then by the time I'm done with that the other pipe should be cooled down enough to where we can weld everything in and uh, try and figure out how the heck I'm going to get this engine all the way up onto here. I might need to drop the NASCAR onto the ground just to make this a little bit easier because this engine is heavy. So the engine mount is all cut and good to go. I just put it exactly where I need it, so I'm gonna keep that there uh, nice and still, and then I'm gonna, I brought the welder back in. Uh, I'm gonna tack that all up. But here is the pipe. A Little bit of a uh, closer look at it there. Definitely some really, really bad welds, but it is super, super strong. And I think it came out better than those welds, and I, I was standing on this and not even budging, so. I don't think it would have an issue at all with holding the engine. But I'm just gonna throw on my uh, welding gear real quick, turn on the welder, and finish up these engine mounts. Alrighty, so I just fired up the welder. I'm just gonna grind it over here because I do not wanna move this out of its spot. I have exactly where I want it. But let's tack this baby up. That's a good tack right there. Now I'm gonna weld this up fully, and then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna lay the engine mount on there, weld it onto here, and then onto the diagonal bar over there. So I just finished up welding up everything and it is super super even 
I'm really, really happy how it came out. But now is the moment of truth. I'm pretty nervous. It is time to lift up this engine and uh, see if these can handle it. I don't think that they're gonna snap down, but honestly, I really don't know what to expect. Because as you guys know, this is my first time ever fabbing up anything, so I really don't know what to really even think right now. But the only way we're going to find out is by putting this in. So the moment we've all been waiting for, let's sit this thing in. With a little bit of help and uh, some finagling, the engine's in and it fits good and it'll fit even better once I do what I'm about to tell you. So obviously the engine is on a completely awful angle right now and that's because of this bar. And if you guys remember a couple videos back, I said that if I need to cut this bar, I will, you know? And then I'll just simply just slide it down and it'll still be a good support. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it uh, right on the edge and everything and then the engine will shift forward and sit perfectly width wise it is perfect now I didn't move this rotor yet but if you guys remember once again there is a ton of room for me to move it uh, along with the caliper so no issues there and if we come over here to the sprocket completely clears that and width wise I got this thing perfect um, so basically the engine mounts are going to be coming up and the bolts the bolt will just go right through it. The engine is not touching the axle. The engine probably will be raised a smidge if it does uh, when it sits flatly. If it does come in contact or get a little bit too close for my likings to the axle, I can raise it up like a couple centimeters just to ensure that uh, nothing bad will happen. Now, I was a little bit skeptical about cutting this because it is a, uh, a main support, but as long as I just still have it, now, even though it's not going to be as high as, at all, but it'll still be just a smidge lower and still be supporting both sides. So let's go ahead and cut these off real quick and see how this engine truly sits. There we go. Sweet. So guys, the engine is now in and Naturally, it just wants to go forward because, you know, all the weight and of the head and everything. But if I just lean this back, that is basically how it's going to be sitting. And still, I have this thing pushed all the way back right now. And if you guys can see, the axle still clears it. And there's no play in the axle or anything cause, because there's no suspension. So that is awesome. I am so happy on how the engine mounts are holding up. I mean, I just rocked this thing a ton of times by accident. And they are holding up super, super good. But this thing is going to be sweet. And I believe that the body will fit over it once it's all mounted down and everything. And I have a whole system on, uh, on cooling and everything. You know, when, when the body's on, all of this back here doesn't really have much airflow. But I have that all under control. And I'll explain to you guys in a future video. But I am so pumped that we were able to get this done today. I mean, that was my main goal for today's video. And... I was going to weld up the engine mounts and everything, just the two bottom ones real quick, you know, before I do the top ones, but honestly, I cannot weld in here anymore until I figure out a new way of cooling and getting all that smoke out of here, because honestly, my lungs are killing me right now, and I want to be safe while doing this. I'm not going to risk damaging myself anymore just to see this thing mounted up. So you guys aren't really missing much. I'm just going to be welding the two mounts. I'm probably just going to borrow them off of the old mounts right over there and it'll just be solid, but it'll basically look just like that, which looks beastly. So guys, I'm going to be ending off the video here. Let me know why, what you guys think of the, uh, the engine, how it looks in here. I think it looks absolutely insane. And I believe we're going to have plenty of enough room in the front once it's all mounted down. Like I keep saying, uh, to have the headers and everything and I plan on making a super super sweet custom exhaust system for this So I just cannot wait but in next video um, The engine will be mounted down or we will be mounting it down We're basically just gonna get the fit bet way better, you know move the brake rotor over um, Begin on the whole gearing system on how I want to do this and probably beginning the whole electrical system and integrating the whole wiring harness out of the motorcycle and into this. And sorry for being a little bit late on videos. I've been super busy with something new uh, that's been happening. And I'll probably explain to you guys in future videos, but it's definitely something awesome. But now that I'm done starting that up, then I should be back on regular uploads. But anyway, guys, I'm going to be ending off here. Follow my social medias. They'll be in the outro of this video, Instagram, Snapchat. I use the most. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, share, friends, up with the channel.